Uh, hi everybody, um, I'm here with John McNamara today, uh, two weeks prior to he takes off to do the Marathon de Sable. Uh, it's been an amazing journey for John, he's had a lot of ups and downs and I suppose basically I'm going to ask John to kind of fill us in as to what's happened over the last year and a half for him and what the journey is going to be like going forward John. Yeah, so it's uh, unfortunately been a victim of Covid for, this is my fourth attempt, so I started training in August 2019 uh, it was initially scheduled for August 20, uh, April 2020. So we actually came out here in February 2020 and it was kind of towards the tail end of my training, getting looking forward to it and then obviously COVID came yeah. um, and the race got cancelled the first time three and a half weeks before the event. So I had everything done, all the preparation and all the training done. Then COVID came in, everything got locked down. So that was the first cancellation. It got rescheduled for September got cancelled again about a month before it and then I was training for uh, April of this year mm. um, and about a month and a half before it got cancelled again. So this is my fourth go at it. Um, yeah, so it's been 25 months of training, training yeah. all in to get to this point. And I know you say that very quickly, 25 months of training, but I mean, you yeah. were telling us earlier on, like that's yeah. six and seven month blocks of seven days yeah. a week. Yeah, like, yeah, what, yeah. What does that yeah, Looks so like. so basically I got a program from a couple of guys who had run it before um, and basically it's your month is mapped out in an Excel sheet, it's Monday to Sunday and it tells you what you're doing every day, it tells yeah. you the distances you have to run, your gym sessions, whatever days you do rest, whatever days you do physio sessions um, and it's pretty much full on. So I wake up on a Monday morning, I look at the Excel sheet, okay this is what I have to do for the week. So it kind of starts relatively easy and then it kind of peaks. But when you get into the heavy stuff, then you're doing long runs. Uh, like the last one, the last heavy week for me was probably about five weeks ago. It was 100 miles of running, wow. uh, two gym sessions and a hit session. So that was seven days. And you know, when we go back to the last time we spoke, right? Yeah. You were absolutely super fit then. Yeah, yeah. But I think you're actually fitter again if yeah. possible. Yeah, so maybe, yeah, yeah. Maybe all of this is for good in the long term. Yeah, today. I definitely feel like I'm fitter this time. Yeah, um, really, like the first really time I was yeah. probably as fit as I've ever been. Yeah. But then this time it's just an accumulation of obviously there's disappointment when it gets cancelled. Yeah. But then you've got more training on top of more training on top of more training. So it's just been, as I said, it's it's 25 months with a couple of small breaks in the middle after each cancellation. Um, so it's just the accumulation. And what's the mental piece like, you know, to kind of stay motivated for so long? It's hard. Yeah, so yeah. after each cancellation, what I found the most difficult part was when you start again, because the blocks are hard, like the training is tough and it takes a lot out of you mentally and physically. Once you get into it, you get some momentum and you mm. just go with it. Mm. But it's, I found the first two or three weeks, every time after a cancellation, you're just going, oh, Oh my God. God. I have to do all of this again. Yeah. I have to start again. I another, smile, but another six months of this. How do you do? It? But but like as I said, it gathers momentum after a couple of weeks, and then you kind of get into it. And you're like, okay, we're rolling now again. Let's keep going. And I know you were doing this anyway for your own uh, reasons, but mm. you selected Cleanest Foundation just to get yes. to remind people why you did that and. Yeah, so I just hope like, people can support your your venture. Yeah, so like for me, Clean as as a charity, I've kind of done a few bits with for the last couple of years, and I've just huge respect for the work that you do, mm. um, and especially for the families of sick children. It's a lot of stress. It's a lot of financial strain. You're trying to manage and cope with a sick child, and then you've all the bills mounting. You have to pay your mortgage. You have to do all of these things. So for me, it's just like. The work you do was brilliant and how you can alleviate some of this stress for people at a very stressful time yeah so just for me it's like this is something i'd like to get involved with and help with because i know people who've been in that position yeah and i know the challenges it brings to them as a family so it's like okay if i'm doing this clean as is the one i want to get on board with so what we will be doing is we'll have a link created for a gofundme page so if you brilliant. could get involved and give anything towards it it would be hugely appreciated what I will do as well is just before the race, I'll send down a link to Cleanus. They'll post it on their social media and I'll post it on mine. So you'll actually be able to track me day Super. by day. So you'll have my race number and you can go in at the, oh, end, yeah. at the end of every day and go, okay, he's, sure still, still, he's alive. still alive. <laughs> he's still alive. He's going to go again tomorrow. Yeah, so yeah. you'll be able to see it. So it's 260 kilometers over six days. Yeah. That it's, six, last, it's more than six marathons. It's more it? than six marathons. In, in yeah. the desert. Yeah, in the desert. So last week the temperature was around 37 degrees every day. Now yeah. it's dropped a little bit this week, but it can vary anywhere from 30 up to over 40. 
um, and there's quite a bit of incline as well on some of the days because you'll yeah. have up over sand dunes and stuff. Tough. So it's like one marathon yeah. here in Ireland is tough. Yes, but imagine doing six like that. Yeah, yeah. and, and you're fully supported as well, so you're self-sufficient. So all your food is with you. Yeah, yeah. So you're, you're carrying off, that. You're starting off with your pack, which will weigh somewhere between eight and ten kg, and then as you progress and you start eating your food, it gets lighter as the days go on. So there's there's the heat, there's the sand, there is the pack, mm. um, and then it's just the challenge of day to day getting up your body's getting sore and sore day after day so that's i i think all the chatting here won't justify all the work you've done and the challenge that lies ahead so mm -hmm. i would encourage people maybe to, to to follow that link look at in and john when you can to see what he's going through it's grueling there's nothing there's nothing other than that that i could put a name on it but on behalf of cleaners john thank you so much for staying at it and coming back in here again today, staying in contact, and I, I know you, you value the, the work we do, so we Absolutely. appreciate that. Pleasure. So, wish you the very best. Super, thanks a million, Brendan. Okay, John. Cheers, guys. Thank you.